Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Barnon11970. Thank you for watching my video. All right, guys, I really got to talk about this because this is really getting almost sickening at this point. Um, there are confirmed reports, and I've heard it on several videos, of people actually calling uh, customer service at Walmart where they've acknowledged repeatedly, and these are different videos, that uh, Walmart is no longer going to be ordering ammunition. And they're basing it on the fact that Obama is about to pass a gun registration or gun gun legislations. We don't know if it's a full ban or whatever it is they're about to pass. But first of all, it hasn't passed yet. So for them to be saying that at all, I mean, you're talking about a corporation dealing with government. And last time I checked, that's fascism. But even if the president tomorrow said, I have now passed the law that says a total gun ban, let's just assume that's it. Well, let me tell you something. That is illegal, and he can't do that. The unfortunate part is the majority of people in the world will put on their TV and hear the news and hear the president say this. Now, I'm just assuming that, in worst-case scenario, he does this. But they will believe anything that's being told to them without even actually checking it. And let me tell you something. There are only two ways to amend the Constitution. So if he does a gun ban or gun restrictions, I mean, we won't know until he, he actually does this. Um, it has to be taken to the U.S. Congress, and it has to be passed by a two-thirds majority vote in the House and the Senate. And then once the bill has been passed in both of those houses, it then goes to the states. And they have to have approval of three-fourths of the states, which means at least 38 states have to approve this. And the only other method is... Um, the second method um, is for a constitutional convention to be called by two-thirds of the state's legislators. In other words, 34 states. And for that convention to propose one or more amendments. These amendments are sent by the states to be approved by three-fourths of the legislators or conventions. So this is what really people need to talk about and really need to start researching. And more people need to start reading about the Constitution, and they have to start reading about amendments, and how the, the process actually occurs. So the president just can't wake up tomorrow and say, you know what, I'm going to ban guns. And he says, well, I've now made a law that states that there are no more guns. Now, I'm not saying that's happening. I'm just using that as an extreme example. Well, now he's basically declaring treason. Because if he doesn't get two-thirds of a majority vote in the House and Senate, and then at least 38 states approve it, he can't change the Constitution, and he can't change an amendment. So it doesn't matter what he says. So um, I really want to know what people are thinking about this. Now, I see so many people saying things like, oh, we should just boycott Walmart. Well, the smarter people out there would think that's a good idea. Unfortunately, 98% of the country is more concerned about saving $20 on a DVD player by getting it at Walmart than actually spending a little bit extra money or buying something from a local business to actually create income in our own countries instead of shipping it all overseas by buying cheap Chinese products. So, unfortunately, Walmart will never be boycotted. But to see a corporation actually wanting to work with a socialist and a fascist at this point because that's basically what it is because when government and corporations work together that is no longer a democracy and if if the president or any president um this has nothing to do with barack obama himself i would say this about any president that they cannot just decide i'm the president so i'm going to make a law that changes an amendment it doesn't work that way and we really need to start educating people about this because if, like I said, if that were to happen tomorrow and he gets up and goes up in the podium and all the news channels who are bought and paid for all play his speech and he says, well, guns are banned tomorrow because I've made it a law, 98% of the people would say, oh, well, the television told me so, so it must be true. Let's go back to my iPhone 5. You know, we really have to start start doing something, at least start saying something. So, I don't know what to say at this point, but uh, it's really making me con reconsider joining the NRA at this point. Let me know what you think. Peace.